Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can incentivize your students to complete the assignments in the modules by having them earn badges. <clears throat> now, the idea of the using the badges is that they have to complete the module in order to earn it. And one way to incentivize them is that you can have them um, say, for example, for every two badges, you get a free homework pass or for every badge, you get a positive phone call home or for every badge, you can play, choose a song, a school appropriate song to play in the beginning of a class or at the end of class or something like that. You, you can choose a variety of ways of what they can earn based on how many badges they get. So first I'm going to show you the platform of how it looks like. So in your navigation, you will see badges and you click on badges right here where it says objective you will see the modules that you have and then right here you can choose the the badges that you want to use under progress you see which students have earned the badges which students have not so right here um i can see there's quite a bit of students who've already started to earn their badges you can see the leadership bo um board and this is also something that the students can see. So I'm going to enable the leadership board. So the students can see the leadership board, but what they see is that they'll see the alias names. So what that means is that they won't see the actual student name, but um, Badger created a name for them, but you can enable the name sharing. So if they choose to, they can share their name. You can enable badge award sharing. So you can make it into a competition between them. Like, oh, look, I earned two badges and um, can you do it too? So it'd be like a positive competition that you can do. Um, analytics isn't something that it is needed. If you really want it, you it's part of um, an upgrade. So you do have to purchase in order to get the analytics, but I don't think it's needed. So those are the components of it. Now the student view, the student view under progress, this is what they'll see. And they'll see if they completed it like this. And if they haven't completed it, I'm going to show you here on the student view. So go to student view. Now in the student view, unfortunately, even if the student uh, test student did complete the assignments, it won't show you completed. And you can see these are the badges that they can earn. Now, the cool thing about it is, is that if they haven't earned it, they can view the details and you can write, um, see the criteria here. So the criteria will show them um, to earn this badge, you must complete module six, right? And so you can add the criteria for completing the assignments. Another cool thing is that they hit right here, module six, but it, it takes them straight to the module. So right here, module six, and it takes them to the, um, the module so they can complete those assignments. So this is just an incentive that you can do for your students. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up. So first thing that you'll need to do is um, if you don't see badges in your navigation, all you have to do is go to settings and that would mean that badges is down here where it's not visible you want it to go into uh, where the students can see it reason being is so that they can check which badges are available to be earned okay so don't forget to hit save as soon as you move it to the view now the first time you log into badger in canvas you will see that your name will pop up here and your email address will pop up here then you'll hit authorize and then once you hit authorize, it will take you to this screen and you just hit, um, I have read and agreed to the terms and you hit continue. Then you can, um, right here, then you can now create a user. And when you create a user, this window will pop up where here you put your name, description, so teacher, website URL. So you can put the Chaparral website or your teacher contact page um, URL or if you have a personal email, you can put that, or personal website, you can put that. And here, your email, I have read and agreed to the terms, and then hit new user. And once you've created one, this is what it looks like. So right here, I have my name, Ms. Granados, teacher, and I have created, so far, three badges. 
Second thing you need to do is in your modules, you have to set it up so that they have completed the assignments. So for example, up here in, uh, have set up the requirements. So in the module, you can see the three little dots. You go to edit, uh, and here, normally you'll have right here where you can add a requirement. So when you add a requirement, uh, they don't necessarily need to view the task of the day. I, to earn the badge, I want them to complete the assignment. So I'm going to select this one and I will select that they have to score at least 10 because this is a Google form. So I had to manually input the grade. And then the next requirement is they had to at least submit the scavenger hunt. So at least submit the scavenger hunt uh, and update module. So now I'm going to go to badges. So here you can see I don't have any badges set up. So I'm going to go to module six. I'm going to do module six completion. Now to create a new one, all you have to do is create a new badge. Uh, type in the name, badge description, write the criteria, and then you can upload a PNG so you can create a unique badge in Canva or in any other software and then upload the picture here. Or you can use the, the badge studio. So right here you can pick different shapes and then you can change the color. You can choose different graphics. So you can choose um, pick a graphic and then you hit save and then you have those badges that are there for you. I already have a badge made. So I'm going to use this one. And that is it. So then I go to progress and then I'm going to refresh my page progress. And here you can see the students that have earned those badges. So it means all of these students have completed all of those assignments and you can also see them in the leadership board and then right here these are all the students who have completed the module six i hope this was helpful if you have any questions on how to do this um just please reach out to me um remember you do have to set the prerequisites in the module in order uh, to enable the badger for them to earn the badges because you have to set up requirements for them to earn it and if you need help with that, please let me know, or you can watch my video on how to set up requirements within the module. And thank you again for listening. Bye.